Hi everyone, I'm Walter. And I'm Sam. And welcome to Unit 17, Driverless Delivery. So it seems that the next big thing when it comes to car technology is driverless cars or autonomous uh, driving cars, I guess they would call them. Uh, however, this is not new for people. Actually, they were testing these sort of programs out having driverless cars in the 1920s. Right. So that's over a century ago. And the thought of a car monitoring its surroundings seems to actually be quite ambitious. And to be honest with you, I don't think I would feel very safe around it. Surroundings. Surroundings. And from what I've heard recently as well, there's a long way to go before it's, I guess, widespread commercial commercialization. So even though we are coming up with new cars like Tesla and they have all these new gadgets, it does seem a long way away before we get to see our very, well, all the driverless cars to be a thing on the road. Commercialization. Commercialization. And some insightful business people have tried to kind of capitalize on this, mm -hmm. like you said, with Tesla. Mm -hmm. um, and I know a few companies mm -hmm. were really kind of funding this operation and it was increasing right. pre-coronavirus mm -hmm. last year. Insightful. Insightful. With the introduction of coronavirus, unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have seen potential in this business, True. specifically for autonomous delivery services. Right, right. So this dire situation could actually be a turning point for autonomous delivery. Dire. Dire. So uh, what do you usually order when you use delivery service? So when we think about delivery service, especially mm. in Western countries, mm. we typically think of fast food. That's true. Um, here in Korea, there's so many choices. Mm. Um, it, you can get things from like very healthy, fresh mm. dishes, um, to convenience store food, to fast food, of course. Mm. And I usually stick with the burgers, to be honest. Right, right. Yeah. I, I love delivery food by uh, like, Fast, fast food delivery food, I think it's so good and it does actually create jobs for the people who are delivering a lot. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'm using the supermarket application these days where, for example, Emart or Home Plus or any of those uh, supermarket brands have a online app. And I think during this time, during the, uh, the COVID-19 situation, it's much safer to do it online rather than go to a place that has a lot of people. Because mm -hmm. I did go to the supermarket recently and I noticed that there's still a lot of people going to and from the supermarket. So mm -hmm. it does still make it a little bit difficult. But how much contact do you come in with, to with the delivery people? I always just receive it, you know, when they knock on the door, I take it from them. Mm -hmm. I've actually become friendly with one delivery guy. Okay. That's how much I've ordered McDonald's. Ah, uh, okay. Um, because he used to live in the UK and he started talking to me in English and I was uh, like, whoa, okay. whoa, whoa, you know, conversation in Korea with delivery people is, it's, it's rare. It's, it's very rare. rare. Yeah, so he was an exception. Yeah. Apart from that, just kind of handing it over, taking it. What about you? Um, yeah, there, there's really no ma massive communication between me and the delivery man. Um, I do wait for him outside my door, mm. him or her, uh, as sort of like uh, a bit of courtesy as I live quite high up and the elevators take a long time to, to, mm. um, to come up and down. So I, I, I tend to do that just as a bit of uh, politeness towards them, mm. but yes. Anyway, that wraps it up for the preview section and we'll see you on the review section.